Hello, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Salam Satu Malaysia, Salam Jumaat uh, Today uh, I'm going to share with you About these three important topic in Surgery One is acute limb ischemia Second is chronic limb ischemia And critical limb How you differentiate these three uh, disease eh? these three conditions in vascular surgery ok uh, these three entities are important to be differentiated because out of these three acute limb, chronic limb and critical limb the diagnosis must be spot on acute limb is surgical emergencies Whereas chronic limb and critical limb ischemia is not so emergency. So it is important for you to take a good history to differentiate between acute, chronic and limb is, uh, and critical limb ischemia. So first, what is acute limb ischemia? Any patient presented with sudden onset of unilateral limb pain can be a lower limb or upper limb upper limb is a bit rare eh? sudden onset of pain of the limbs eh? associated with absence of pulse the diagnosis of acute limb ischemia must be in your mind eh? so when you get this kind of patients there are four things you have to ask one is the onset of duration it should be sudden number two you must ask is whether it involves both limbs or just one limb okay in acute limb usually unilateral limb okay number three is patient have underlying cross setting factor such as atrial fibrillations heart disease or if patient is intravenous drug user huh? okay and number four is any evidence of chronicity so in acute limb the unaffected side will be normal there will be no evidence of chronicity chronicity means evidence of chronic limb ischemia such as loss of muscle huh? loss of hair shining skin eh? brittle nail atrophy of the muscles so this is these are signs of chronicity in acute limb ischemia there will be no signs of chronicity okay after you do the history there are examination to be done in acute limb ischemia number one there must be absence of pulse they examine the femoral for example in acute limb ischemia there will be no pulse or maybe popliteal artery depends on the level of obstructions so acute limb ischemia there must be absence of pulse if the pre there is pulse it shouldn't be acute limb ischemia it can be venous gangrene it can be venous claudications huh? it can be add cellulitis or other conditions of the limbs okay condition of the limbs okay after you examine the you after you establish the diagnosis of acute limb ischemia the duration of the onset must be important eh? because in all acute limb ischemia it is actually associated with medical legal uh, issue eh? because if you diagnose it immediately you need to establish the stage eh? class the uh, type of acute limb ischemia and the restoration of the vascularity should be done as soon as possible to save the limbs so you have to examine that particular limb and look for these four things one is the color of the skins eh? in uh, because you need to class it using Rutherford classification we put it in the simple classification grade 1 means 
pre absence of pulse color normal sensory normal motor normal so you have pulse color sensory motor so for grade one except for the absence of pulse the color of the skin can be normal it, it can be just cold uh, warm but the color of the skin normal the sensory intact the motor intact grade two absence of pulse the color changes can be appreciated bluish discolorations cold clammy skin all right but the sensory and motor still intact right sensory and motor still intact when you come to grade 3 this there will be sensory loss depends on the level of obstructions apart from absence of pulse color changes and sometimes it can be mottling but not fixed mottling but not fixed means you press that blanching will fill up immediately and the motor stay intact eh? the motor stay intact for example you ask the patient to voluntarily eh, flex the big toe or ankle joint the motor can still be intact so these are grade 3 grade 4 means absence of pulse Eh, they will be gangrene or they can be blackish in the color of the skin eh? and sensory and motor will be abolished diminish so this is important for acute limb ischemia you need to grade it class based on other classifications so what is the importance of grading because then this will be used in the principle of managing on the acute limb for grade 1 and grade 2 based on rather for classification type uh, class 1 and class 2 you can perform uh, limb salvaging surgery mean we have to revascularize the tissue maintain the continuation of blood supply to save the limb because the limb is still viable but for class 3, a grade eh, 3 and 4, where the limb is not viable anymore, the management principle of management is life saving surgery. Means there is no way you can establish the vascularity because if you establish the vascularity, there will be reperfusion injury that can lead to patient develop septicemic shock because there will be redistribution of this. Uh, sepsis to circulation so for class 3 and 4 eh, grade or grade 3 and 4 amputation is the answer so for all the patients suspected to have acute limb ischemia they should be started on unfractionated heparin so that is about acute limb ischemia it's a surgical emergency where you need to diagnose it at the very early stage you don't actually for acute limb ischemia clinical diagnosis no need CTA eh? no need CTA just need to use your hand examine palpate the uh, the arteria eh? palpate the uh, artery femoral artery palpate artery if you have doctor you can use it ok so this is unilateral disease sudden in onset there is history of heart disease especially arterial fibrillations uh, eh? or they can have uh, you can have in patient with intravenous drug user and there is no evidence of chronicity okay chronic limb ischemia eh? is not so medical or surgical emergency is a chronic disease it involves bilateral limbs and uh, usually this patient has underlying atherosclerosis diabetes okay for th this kind of patients the patient presenting presentation will be chronic few months occasional claudication pain and it involves both limbs and when you examine eh, they can still a patient might have bilateral absence of pulse or very feeble pulse but the limb still viable there is no blackish discoloration so on but there is evidence of chronicity 
there will be loss of muscle loss of hair there will be a few areas of maybe superficial ulcer or they can have uh, uh, septic spot or whatsoever but the lesion is uh, the, the pain involves both limbs in chronic uh, and usually bilateral so in this kind of case it is not surgical emergency you can investigate imaging perform CTA and then often they will show uh, evidence of arterial closing involving dominata proximal part of uh, common femoral and bilateral in this case there is a role of bypass or surgery uh, to uh, provide that patient is fit and uh, that is how we manage chronic limb ischemia and in this case chronic limb ischemia is usually bilateral and there will be evidence of chronicity okay the last one critical limb ischemia as the name suggests is actually misnomer it is not surgical emergency even though the name is critical limb ischemia so in all type of ischemia acute limb ischemia is surgical emergency Okay, critical limb ischemia you need these three components to put patient to have critical limb ischemia one is there will be rest pain more than two weeks okay not relief with any analgesics except opioids so there will be rest pain more than two weeks this is not relieved by analgesic other than opioids that is one characteristic Second one is evidence of tissue loss. Right? Evidence of tissue loss. It can be unilateral, it can be bilateral, but most common unilateral. Tissue loss means ulcers or gangrene. Okay? Ulcers or gangrene. And the third one can only be managed by uh, radiology, uh, by digital examination. Anchor ABPI, ankle brachial pressure index ratio more than 0 0.5 or less than 0 0.5 or digital toe pressure less than 35 millimeter mercury okay forget about that digital all this abpi index you need to have these two first means the patient have rest pain more than two weeks not really by opioids and not really by other energies as opioids and number two evidence of ulcers to all tissue loss if you have this this patient is having critical limb okay so even you diagnose the patient to have critical limb all right the mod, the the principle of manage management of critical limb ischemia is the same as management of chronic limb ischemia all right you have to ascertain the site of obstruction perform cta and do accordingly means this patient might benefit from limb amputations or restoration of the vascularity uh, either bypass or graft so you can see the difference between these three so acute chronic and critical limb so if you've been called to ED or you see patient at uh, clinic kesihatan peripheral you must be able to make a diagnosis you don't hear you don't need ultrasound or uh, ct scan at your level good history taking good clinical examinations know about how you classify the acute limb ischemia you can save many limbs or lives of the patients so remember this it's just very general but it's enough for house officer or medical officer who are resident in surgery and uh, or medical officer stationed at ED so you know this case you must be able to differentiate between acute limb chronic limb and critical limbs make a good diagnosis correct diagnosis differentiate between other acute limb problems such as osteomyelitis, DVT,
peripheral vascular diseases or other surgical uh, vascular conditions so with that i hope you understand and read the books you will be benefited from that thank you very much